Hi, I'm Jake from Soul by Carmana. Today we'll be going over the Evergen retrofit procedure for legacy Soul solar lighting systems. This straightforward installation will have you removing the system's old charge controller, driver, and battery harnessing, leaving only the fixture and PV harnessing behind. The Evergen retrofit kit includes an EMS, adapter plate, PV and fixture harness adapters, a ground harness extension, gaskets, and hardware, along with the battery harnesses required for your number of batteries. The tools we'll be using today include a 7 16 and 3 8 inch socket, a half inch wrench, a 9 30 seconds drill bit, a 2 inch hole saw, wire cutters and trippers, a multimeter, round metal file, and a cordless drill. To start, open the cabinet via the key or side bolts and remove all existing electronics and battery harnessing. Cap your unconnectorized PV wires to avoid any shorts. Remove batteries for reuse later with new harnessing. You should be left with only the PV harnessing and fixture harnessing remaining in the cabinet. If the door is attached, slide it off its hinges to make it the next step easier. For separate quad battery boxes, the adapter plate should be positioned in the top left hinge side corner. For separate dual battery boxes, the adapter plate should also be positioned in the top of the door. If the dual battery box is part of a side of pull mount system in which the cabinet is below the panels, you will have to position the adapter plate in the middle of the door to have enough clearance from the solar panels. Measure 13 inches from the bottom of the door and mark a line with a pencil. This will be the top edge of the adapter plate. With the adapter plate flipped over and properly aligned, mark your mounting holes and pilot hole for the two inch saw. Remove the plate and drill your holes in the door. Using a round file or a deburring tool, remove any sharp edges. Mount the adapter plate on the back of the EMS with the included standoffs. Position the foam gasket. Mount the EMS assembly on the outside of the door using the newly drilled holes. Add the grounding extension and the EMS ground wire to the bronze bolt assembly. Rehang the door and connect the grounding extension to the cabinet stud. The Evergen EMS requires special battery harnessing, which includes an integrated temperature sensor. Your main harnessing assembly needs to match your battery count. You will have one main harness and up to three secondary harnesses. Remove the main harness fuse if it hasn't been already, and mount all harnessing to the batteries. The main battery harness needs positioned closest to the EMS, typically in the top left corner. Next, install all secondary batteries. Since we will be reusing the existing PV and fixture harnessing, we have provided adapters to make things easier. Some newer harnessing is compatible with the Evergen and will simply click together. Older systems may require splicing or the use of an adapter to connect to the Evergen. If needed, cut and strip the wires from the PV adapter harness, leaving only a positive and negative MC4 connector. Match the polarity colors. Negative is black to black, and positive is either white or orange to white. Use the provided wire nuts to connect the wires. Always confirm your polarity with a multimeter. Again, the fixture harness may also need to be spliced in. Match polarities. Negative is black or blue to black, and positive is red or brown to red. Use the provided wire nets to connect the wires. Very old systems using basic LED lights may have the driver included in the fixture itself. Any drivers found in the fixtures must be bypassed so the power from the Evergen goes directly to the LEDs. 
New Evergens have integrated drivers responsible for sending power directly to the LEDs and does not require any external drivers. Once you have verified that all harnessing has been correctly attached, connect the PV and fixture harness along with the main battery harness to the Evergen. Finally, install the main battery fuse. Close up the door, securing it with the key or side bolts. Once everything is installed, the last step is commissioning the system with the Evergen setup app. The Evergen EMS can be mounted on a variety of different Sol and Carmana solar lighting systems. There could be some slight modification to the procedure shown in this video, so consult our website with the most up-to-date retrofit installation manuals for your system. For any questions about retrofitting your current system, contact us at the number below. Thanks for watching.